Hello, my name is Samir Bahati and uh, I am going to present on the topic from large computers to single chip microcontrollers. Basically, I am uh, going to classify computers on the basis of purpose. Types of computers based on purpose. First, I'll like to brush upon some definitions like uh, that of uh, a computer is a programmable machine. A programmable machine uh, consists of uh, uh, mainly four components CPU, uh, memory, input output devices, or peripherals. Okay, so uh, CPU contains ALU control unit registers, uh, and together, CPU on a single chip is called a microprocessor. Uh, and word length. Uh, a word is defined as the number of bits processed uh, in one go by a microprocessor. So microprocessors are uh, 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 classified on the basis of the word lengths. So types of computers based on purpose. Uh, microcomputer is defined as a computer with microprocessor as its CPU. Okay. But nowadays, uh, practically all computers have various microprocessors inside the larger CPU. So the uh, actually the lines of demarcations on these types are getting blurred uh, with time and technology. So the types are large computers, medium sized computers, uh, micro computers. Okay, so large size computers are large multipurpose, multi-user, multitasking computers. They are used in complex scientific and engineering calculations, handle records, to handle records for large uh, corporations and government agencies. They cost uh, a million of millions of dollars. They are broadly classified into uh, mainframes and supercomputers. Mainframe computers are high speed computers, large computers. They have a word length of 32 or 64 bits. They can handle all types of peripherals and large number of users. Uh, supercomputers are high performance, high speed, uh, large computers. They have word length of 64 bits. They are the fastest large computers or computers. They can execute a billion instructions per second. Used in areas such as global climate and high energy physics in which uh, billion particles collide per second and we need data of all of them per second. Examples Cray2 and YMP. Moving on, medium sized computers are slower and have lesser storage than mainframe computers. Uh, they're, they're used uh, for instructional needs of colleges, manufacturing problems of small factories, data processing tasks of medium sized businesses such as payroll and accounting. Uh, their cost ranges from $25,000 to $1 lakh. Uh, they were historically called um, mini computers. Examples are written. Moving on, microcomputers. 1970s, they, their word length was four or eight bits. They found applications in machine control and instrumentation. As prices of microprocessors declined with technology, they found applications in video games, word processing, small businesses, early microcomputers were based on 8-bit microprocessors. Since then, word lengths of 16, 32, 64 got introduced. The examples of microprocessors are Intel 8086, 88 and etc, etc. And present day microcomputer classifications is as follows. 
they are classified into personal computers workstations single board microcomputers or single chip microcomputers namely microcontrollers okay so personal computers pcs they are single user system systems uh, they typically include a 64 or 32 bit microprocessor they have thousands of mbs of ram they have hard disk floppy disk cd rom zip disk video screen their examples are hp pavilion series laptop the one which i am working on right now apple mac etc workstations have higher performance than pcs there are higher performance versions of pcs uh they found find applications in engineering and science namely computer aided design computer aided engineering computer computer aided uh, manufacturing they typically include high resolution screens system memory hard disk they are designed around uh, risk uh, reduced instruction set computing processors which are faster than pc microprocessors single board micro uh, micro computers are used in college labs industries for instructional purposes uh, writing assembly codes and performing uh, uh, interfacing experiments like the ones we did in the course phn 314 or evaluation of performance of microprocessor they typically include a uh, 8 to 16 bit microprocessor 256 to 8k bytes of user memory a hex keyboard and seven segment led displays as peripherals uh, a monitor program is basically a small size operating system which uh, these uh, single board microcomputers have since it is uh, saved in less than 2 kilobyte of rom so it basically monitors uh, keyboard inputs interprets keys and stores programs in uh, memory sends uh, system displays to the leds and enables execution of user programs programming in uh, single board uh, microcomputers is done in low le level languages uh, we're going to brush upon it further as we go in the ppt and uh, examples are written single chip microcomputer microcontrollers uh, they typically include a microprocessor uh, 256 bytes of ram 1k to 8k bytes of rom several signal lines to connect the peripherals uh, used in controlling appliances traffic lights etc okay examples are written uh different operating systems used in the uh, programmable machines discussed so far okay so uh, on this column we have word length or microprocessor on the right column we have operating system in earlier times in 8 bit uh, word length microprocessor cpm control monitor program was used or is used in 16 bit Uh, in 1980s ms dos uh, text based uh, operating system was used which has been replaced by windows 3.1 95 graphic uh, graphical user interface operating system in 1990s uh, as technology advanced and in 32 to 64 bit uh, 32 and 64 bit uh, microprocessors the the operating systems used are unix linux operating system slash 2 os slash 2 windows 98 95 2000 nt and millennium okay so now the important question arises uh, what is the criteria for using a uh, uh, programming language like what is the criteria whether the programming language should be low level or high level high high level in these systems which i just described okay so on the left we have low level languages uh, on the right we have high level languages and okay so going in deeper uh, tip, uh, the low level languages are typical to the programmable machine example 
machine language or binary language or assembly language they are uh, like a separate a different micro a different microprocessor would have a different binary language and in hsl column we have they are like Eng they, the language looks like english like statements and they are the same for all machines then how the then one question arises how are same english words converted in different binary languages of different microprocessors well compilers and interpreters are the answers they are typical to the machine and since they are typical to the machine they convert we have a, a language we get a language which is uh, same for all uh, microprocessors since the compilers and interpreters are different they transform it uh, differently into the different binary languages of different microprocessors uh, and uh, low level languages second point uh, one to one correspondence between mnemonics and binary language hence program requires less memory and since uh, and hence they are more efficient and high level languages uh, large memory required by compilers and interpreters since several machine codes required to convert uh, english to binaries and hence they are less efficient okay uh, low level languages are tedious and error inducing for longer programs obviously and the debug debugging is easier in high level high, high level lang languages okay and uh, low level languages find applications in real time events like in which event and time should match without much delay like traffic control uh, appliance control converting uh, high frequency waveforms into digital data and for high level languages high level languages they uh, they are they find applications in uh, places where programs are large memory requirements are large memory is large memory is large like word processors video games tax return preparations billing accounting and money management so that debugging is easier and you know like if the code is long debugging should be easy and the code should be easy to read in english like statements and finally bibliography thank you